Alright, today we're going to be cleaning the guinea pig cage. Um, it's been a couple days since it was last cleaned because I've been out of town, so it's a little messier than usual. Just to give you a quick peek, normally it's not this bad, but definitely needs to be cleaned up. Um, this many pigs, we usually clean it every three to four days or so. Sometimes more often, sometimes less often, just kind of all depends. Uh, first thing we're going to do is take out all of their toys and chase them all down onto the lower level so they stay out of the way for most of this. Alright, so we've taken everything out of the cage, um, including the ramps. We've got them all confined down onto the lowest level right now. They're just hanging out. Um, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of fur it's shedding season uh, and pellets that need to be cleaned up. We're going to replace all the bedding in here. A uh, bunch of sticks and twigs left over from their chew toys that they've managed to pretty much shred into small pieces. Um, it's handy to have a trash can close by because you're going to need it. <laughs> So, next step is to uh, pull the blankets out, shake them out, um, set all the cage stuff over here aside, refilled their hay balls. Uh, probably going to end up washing all of their pig loos today too, just because it hasn't been done in a while. And their tunnels, you can see they've managed to get stuff caked onto that. We've got a... Uh, dirty pile where all their bedding is going to go into. It'll all get washed and then put back. Um, that gets done about once a week or every other cage cleaning. These are our uh, clean blankets. We've got a fresh set we're going to swap them out with. Alright, we are back. As you can see, we've uh, moved the blankets. There's some staining on the coroplast. Um, that's normal. You can tell which level they prefer by which one is stained more. Obviously the one where all the food is. Um, I use Simple Green, which works really well. I just sprayed it on there, pure concentrated stuff. Let it soak for a few minutes and it'll wipe right off. Um, I'll also use a little shovel and dustpan to clear out all the stuff that fell out. There was quite a bit of it. I'm going to do the same thing to the lower level after I get the top ones done. Uh, try and do it in segments so that the pigs have a place to go. Um, I will end up having to put them in the small cage for a little bit though uh, towards the end to wrap everything up. I'm going to go throw the first load of dirty blankets into the wash and then uh, come back, scrub them out, and show you guys how effective that simple green really is. Alright, we are back. Uh, we have scrubbed out the cages just using a um, Scotch-Brite sponge scrub pad, pad combo uh, and some hot water. Simple green usually does the trick on its own. If you want to, you can use pine salt instead or in addition to. Um, both of them help fight the smell definitely want to wear gloves though when you do it because both of those will eat away at your skin uh, as I found out the hard way um, as you can see pretty much back to clean white except for some spots in the corner um, those never really go away but better than it was uh, as with the toys you want to make sure that everything's completely dry before you start putting stuff back otherwise it could start to mold and you don't want that so we're going to go ahead and do the bottom level here, uh, move the pigs into the small cage and get that all cleaned out so that we can start putting everything back together for them.